So I'm sorry I cut your video short, man. I stopped at four minutes or something. You said some shit that pissed me off. I got angry watching your video. Now, first of all, Monique throwing the TV at the baby was pretty fucked up. I saw that. And that movie had to be told. Certain stories you have to tell. The color purple and shit like that. So we just can't knock the whole entire... Oh, color purple, I'm sorry. That was Spielberg. You're right, my bad. So um, the color purple uh, movies like that have to be made. Now, the thing is, with black movies, it's like the same old shucking and jiving and shit. It's never any real serious content, and when it is serious, it's over black. I'm sorry, I'm black, and you black, and we live in a black world, but god damn it, you ever see some of these movies that are so black, it's like blacker than what we actually live like. And when other people see this shit, they think that's based in reality. Everybody gotta be like 50 Cent and shit. You know, it's like, <laughs> I am tired of seeing this shit. We either gang bangers or thugs, and then somebody wrote in the bottom of your thing that uh, somebody did a movie, uh, a black science fiction movie. The name of the movie was Time Hustlers. Time Hustlers. We always hustling, banging, got bitches and hoes. It's always a, a, a super gangster element. There's a movie I just saw recently called Bad Lieutenant. And um, uh, I don't know who made the movie. I forgot it. But uh, it wasn't the Harvey Keitel, you know, from back in the day. It wasn't Harvey Keitel, Bad Lieutenant goes to London or whatever that shit is either. This was Nicolas Cage and Exhibit was in it. Now, whenever you're a black star, you know, there's only one or two black stars that that, that do their shit. Now, Will Smith, he's all right. I'm not a Will Smith fan. Um, but look out through the course of time. You got Sidney Poitier. You got Harry Belafonte, who's also a great actor. And you know you have these these great black actors like Morgan Freeman now he's 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 considered one of the great black actors. Denzel is a great black actor. Come on, man, shouldn't they be like Ozzy Davis and and, and, and uh, you know Ruby D? They they should be the great. They should be the big names. I mean, it's like we are in a pop culture, and if we're popular, then it's all good. If we're not popular, then that's it. But when black people would get the opportunity to do something, it Put like this, if they don't do it ghetto, they don't think people will watch it. Um, and I think Spike Lee proved that. Spike Lee did a couple movies that were not ghetto. And you don't even see Spike Lee movies no more. See what I'm saying? You get my picture? You get my drift? If we buffoonerize ourselves, I love it when I talk like that. If we act like on Fridays, if we show a 15 minute part of a black person's life who's having a bad day over and over again for an hour and 45 minutes, we show the worst part of the worst time at the worst moment in somebody's life. We shouldn't have to kiss another man to be a movie and the star, the star in the movie and suck on an, another woman's face in the movie. You know, seven degrees of separation. You know. I mean, black people have to be gay. They have to be criminals. They got to be badass motherfuckers. And they can't never just be the nice guy throughout the movie. Forrest Whitaker tries it. But you, you shouldn't have a hand full of actors. You don't, you don't, you don't see white Hollywood. You hear that? Yeah, I'm in here just doing this little video real quick. No. Yeah. No. So, you, there's, there's one Hollywood. It's not, they don't do white movies or, or black movies. Their movies, their movies, when you see a, a so-called black movie, it's a black movie. You know what I mean? It's, it's like when you watch something black on TV, every commercial is black. When I walk down the street, I see more than just black people. And when you go through life as someone who sees more than one group of people, and when you are of one group of people, and when you do see it, you don't want to be, damn, is that it? Is that, a, is, that, is that what I look like when other people see me? You know what I mean? 
And whenever you see these black movies, I mean, come on, man. When is, when, when was it a, a, a happy, nice, feel good black movie without without some some chick getting even, or her boyfriend wasn't cheating, a mama dying? Kind of dead poor society and shit like that. Anyway, wait, 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 wait. I mean, what? I mean, where's the the where's the heartfelt movie? Without having to be a slave, without having to be a basketball player, without having to be uh, getting kicked out your house, without where's the feel good black movie without without the super over exorbitant soul music and and the black person who's just super black and why can't we just do a movie, just a regular movie, without having to be oh nigga movie. Oh, ain't no actors no more. You just put a couple of good rap albums out or be a hell of a good comedian. Bam. And you're in. Throw some money around. You're good. Then make another bullshit movie with your own name on it. See, those of us who sit on the sidelines and talk about the game, we don't wish we were in the game. We don't wish to GM or coach if I want to pay for a product I want it to best represent what's most likely to be the truth do people get robbed and is it gangster type situations yeah not every fucking day 24 hours a day it ain't hopping your whip and go get a 40 and dodge bullets going home go to the backyard and have a barbecue Going in the house, have sex with your woman, go out front, smoke a blunt, and get shot at. Not like that every day. Oh man, I gotta go to work, run down the street, buy a ski mask, and go do a home invasion. I can go outside right now, ain't nobody standing outside selling crack. Ain't no low riders bouncing up and down the streets. I'm tired of society depicting us, and not every black woman is Jack A. Harris. This ain't 227. I'm just tired, man. And it is pitiful. It is extremely pitiful. I remember, um, remember they had Soul Train and American Bandstand. Yeah, go ahead, make some nuggets. Yeah. Remember that? Remember that? Soul Train and American Bastard. Either you watch the white dance show or the black dance show. And you know, when Soul Train comes on, right before Soul Train come on, all the commercials turn black. So Pampers, no more white babies. Black babies on the commercials now. We are a group of individuals, a group of people. And when you divide us like that, you divide us in real life. And when black film makers do films I don't understand why most of them come out the same as a black person and if I was a filmmaker at that level they wouldn't be oversaturated blackness I mean it's like I'm black but god damn I'm not tires black I'm not midnight sky no flashlight moon not out black I'm not in a room with no light bulbs and the doors closed black. You know what I'm saying? No windows, no doors. I'm not black like that. Black itself is that. We're regular people. We get in the car. We listen to all different there's black people listen to country, rock, rap, and whatever. But every time there's a black movie on, it's bumping. Boom, 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 still just throw too much blackness in it do a movie just a regular movie where it ain't saturated it's just a regular movie where you can just oh man that's 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 cool without all oh man there goes another ignorant black scene 